Hello, it's James from Technical Topics. In this short video, we're going to take a look at stereo vision in relation to ADAS systems. The capture was taken on a road test in our local town using a stereo camera system which we implement in our technical training for ADAS. Using this equipment helps technicians get a better understanding of how the systems function and also to visualize the output that the computers are seeing and also understand the logic that's being applied. Of course, when we come to calibration, repair and service, the fundamental understanding of how things work will in fact help us to effect a better repair. The image on the screen now is showing the stereo camera setup typical of Subaru, where there are two video cameras placed a distance apart which are capturing video live as the vehicle drives along. The image on the screen now is showing the stereo camera setup typical of Subaru, where there are two video cameras placed a distance apart which are capturing video live as the vehicle drives along. The stereo camera is fitted onto the dashboard of the car and the car is driven on a typical city street or road and the camera is capturing some images which we'll see on the screen now. I'll talk you through what's actually going on. So the image on the screen now shows three distinct windows, two on the left panel, one on the right panel. The left hand panel shows us the raw image at the top of the left and right lens which are separated about 25 centimetres apart. The two cameras are taking the same video but from a slightly different angle and this allows with some clever processing the system to work out depth from essentially a video camera. Below on the left hand panel we can see a depth perception confidence image which is um, processed from the raw video and then shown into a depth perception which the system can use. The right hand panel then shows us what's known as a 3D point cloud. So this is rendered from the video camera points. It's working out from your X and Y axis, also a Z axis, which is the depth. And this is rendered in real time so the, the system can work out depth perception. You can see in the middle of the screen on the right hand panel, there is a green line that's going from the camera, which you can see is a small black dot in the center of the screen forward to the car in front. Below on the bottom left hand side, uh, the stereo camera is able to ca uh, calculate the distance between the camera, this is the back of the left lens, and the rearmost point that I've selected on the back of the car. You'll notice as the video plays, the depth perception dynamically changes depending on the distance of the vehicle from uh, the camera. You can see now as we pull up to the car behind, the green dot pointed to the back of the vehicle showing the distance. As the car moves out, the image is lost and the depth perception calculation goes to the end scale. And as it comes back into view, you can see it's pulling up behind and you'll notice the distance has gone from 15 meters down to a stopped distance of around five meters. So computer vision linked to artificial intelligence is what's powering autonomous vehicles, those that are on the road currently and systems that are coming. Understanding this technology will really help technicians to understand, service, maintain and repair autonomous vehicles safely.